Welcome to Arrival Graphics. Today, we will teach you how to create animated video like this in Canva. So stay tuned and let's get started. So we will start by setting up our page. So here, I will select a video size. So I will click on create a page. After that, I will select video size which is 1920 by 1920 pixels. So after I'm done creating my video page, what I will do next is to add my elements. So I will go to elements, then search for road. Well, first of all, I will search for road then use it for my background i'll go to element then search for road but here yeah, i'll make sure i'll use free version elements i won't use any pro elements uh, since i'm not using pro canva pro uh, because uh, when you use a pro element and you are not a pro user uh, there will be some watermarks in your work so when you try to download them you won't be able to remove the watermark so it will download the watermarks with it so i will make sure i'll use free elements so i'm done setting up my background so what i'll add is to go to google because uh, the element that i'm seeing it at canva are pro elements so i'll go to google then search for isolated nature landscape uh, when i search this on canva the results that they give to me were for pro elements so i don't want to use any pro elements so i'll just go to google then download any element at all that i want to use for my work so yeah i'll just download them then use them for my work so any element at all that you want to use anytime you are working on canva and you want some element and they are you are not a pro user and uh, whatever you are seeing at Canva are uh, carrying ground or uh, for pro elements just go to Google then search for those elements you will see them over there then you use them for your work so here yeah, I will download any element at all I want to use them for my work all these elements that I'm downloading here they are all on Canva but since i'm not a pro user i can't use them because uh, they have some crown on it so when i try to uh, use them there will be some watermarks on them and i can't get rid of the watermarks unless i'm using canva pro so yeah i'll just come to google then download any element at all that i want to use for my work so that is how it is so i'm done downloading my element so what i'll be doing here is to go to upload then upload the element that i downloaded on google so i'll upload all the elements and use them for my work so i'm searching for them so where are they where are they okay here are my elements so i'll hold on the shift key then select all I'll select all my elements i'll hold on the shift key then click on any element at all that i want to use for my work and they will be uploaded so these are the elements that i downloaded from google so i'm going to use it to set my background so i'll click on the elements that I want to use for my work so I'll select this one 
and enlarge it. So I will enlarge it. Okay. So here yeah. I'll go to position then send this element backwards. So I'll send this picture backwards so that it will fall below the road. So I'm done with the first part. So I want to add another element. So I'll use this one. I'll add this one too. So what I'll do is to enlarge it, then send it backwards. seems this one is okay so there's no need for me to add another one so what I'll be adding next is to add a traffic light with a red color so I'll put this traffic light over here so in my scene one I'll make sure my car is is at a state of rest so I'll look for a car which is stationary. So I'll look for a stationary car, then use it for my work. So I'll use a stationary car before I'll use a moving car because here I want to uh, create an animation with a car which is moving. So before the car will move, it has to be in stationary state. So I will look for a car in stationary state. So I'm looking for a car. So I will use this taxi over here. So I will use this red car. Okay. Let me see. Okay, I'll use this one. So after that, I will reduce the size. Then, so here you could see this car is at a stationary state. So I will use this. Then, click on flip. So I'll flip it horizontally. So I'll click on it. Then, flip it horizontally for it to turn the other way around so I want it to move to the right direction so uh, this is how I want it to be so let me try and add another car okay see this one there's a water marks on it so I have to delete it so here I will delete all the cars then use uh, download only this one because I'm going to use this one for scene one and for the scene one I don't want a stationary car I only want a moving cars uh, because that is where I'm going to create my animated video so I'll just download the scene one then use it for the scene two so if you want to upload the scene 2, all you need to do is to upload the one that you downloaded from your files. So I'm done uploading it. So what I'll be doing is to add my element. So here yeah, I'm going to add a moving car. So I'll start with the scene 2. So I'll move on. But before that, let me crop it before I'll add my element. So this is how I want it to be. So I want it to be five seconds video. So I'm done with the scene one. So I'm working on the scene two. So I'll go to element, then search for a moving car. So I'm going to use this car. So here you could see this car is moving. You could see the tire uh, uh, turning. So I'll use this one 
as the moving car so since i want the car to move to the right direction i will flip it horizontally so that it will move to the right direction so after that i'll click on the background that i use for the scene too then click on animation so here when you click on animation then you click on create your own animation so here when you click on create your own animation they will ask you to hold on the shift key then so here they said you should select and drag an element around the canvas to create your own animation so that is what i'll use so all you need to do is to hold on the shift key then you drag to create your own animation so you drag it to the point where you want your animation to end so i'll just drag to create my own animation so here you could see they are showing you some picture on how to create your own animation You need to hold on the shift key then you drag to draw your line so here you could see i'm done drawing my line and when i click on the video to play you could see my car is moving towards the right direction so here you could see since i didn't hold the shift key well you could see some of my lines just curved it's not all that straight but i will take it like that so if to draw a perfect line you need to hold on the shift key then you drag to draw your line you can also set it to smooth or original or steady so when i set it to smooth you could see my car is moving slowly and when i set it to steady it's also moving uh, slowly as well so you can also set for the speed as well so that is how it goes so i'm done creating my animated car so this is how we create animation in canva so please uh, so what i'm going to do is to play my video right from the scene one to the scene two so i'm playing it so for the scene one you could see my car was at a state of rest uh, it was in stationary state so for the scene two since uh, the traffic light was turned red that is why it was at a state of rest uh, but for the scene two you could see the traffic light have turned green that is why the car started moving so that is how i did it so you could see the scene one the car was at a state of rest because the traffic light was on and the scene two the traffic light was turned to green that is why the car started moving so that is how we go about it please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell see you in our next video bye bye